What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. You said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there, you know? But I'm okay now, am I? How else should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now as far as I know. I... I blacked out for a bit, I... I think. And... I was dreaming. There was... There was a woman there, in the mirror. She was so fat and naked and covered in... blood. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next... You're someone different, I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me? But you... You didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet. What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean... I've been thinking... Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Where do I start? I never get tired of talking to you. Oh, and this. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. But most of all, I guess, I... I can be myself around you. You never get tired of talking to me, because we never talk anymore. We stopped talking a long time ago, and you know that. And when was the last time you held me in your arms? Because I can't remember. I'm sure neither can you. And finally, you are wrong thinking you know who you are. Because you're lost, Joe. Just like me. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday. It's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it, so we can both be free. Fine. I'll say it. We're finished. Good. So we're over the bridge now. This is how we both feel. That's cool. It's okay. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8am, don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven.
Who's there? Hey, who are you? Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? What the fuck is this? Uh, Mr. Davis, such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. What the fuck? Is this? It's just the dining room. Breakfast service, as usual. You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. Where? The fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe. Who are you? What a personal question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine on some other occasion. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. Who is that, Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. No thanks. What a bad way to start the day, Mr. Davis. They say it's the most important meal of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late.
There you are. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. Let's try this. I've got it. Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? What is this place? Why all the mirrors? <laughs> this is the madness. Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. You didn't answer my question. Where are we? I don't know where you are, Joe. But I am home. Why did you break all these mirrors? Let's just say you're lovely wife can put up quite a fight. But it was not enough. Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away 
so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. Oh, there's plenty wrong here, Joe. I don't know where to start, and I'm not sure if you're ready for it yet. Did you say... a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. It's been... lurking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then... Then there is no going back. You fall and... keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. Okay, I'll do it. Which one? Any. Sorry for yourself. Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. It's very... simple, really. You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. What do you mean, you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. But, how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I'd already told you. This is the madness, Joe. I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? How do you even know about the cat? I see a lot of things in these mirrors, you know. Terrible, ugly things. 
And I know you can kill me, too. I swear, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? Interesting. But never mind. What happened happened, Joe. Why should you explain yourself to me? I can do this without your help. Joe, you never listen. It's time to open your eyes. How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. I... I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. This is... so messed up. It's very simple. Kill four memories. But me first. I'll... think about it. Oh, I know you will. <laughs>